Hi! Okay, I have Kendall here, and Kendall and I want to talk about an idea. Behind us, we have the old Halifax Library, and uh, last night Kendall and I were, were talking about some different ideas, and uh, we were talking about how um, on holidays, there's no uh, meal service, um, and also um, yesterday we had to walk 30 minutes <clears throat> to uh, get our supper. Which is absolutely amazing. I'm not complaining at all because uh, the walk was great and uh, and supper was amazing. But like every day, you'd have to walk 30 minutes to get a to get that free meal where where you're staying. Uh, and Kendall's also wrote some articles uh, that we want to talk about as well. So Kendall, yes, um, <clears throat> the library behind us. What were we talking about? What was the idea we spoke about? Well, this idea came from about, and, I, and if my estimate is correct, six years ago, the brand new library on Spring Garden Road opened, and that building behind us used to be the old library, and since the new library opened, the city just kept this old library behind us just sitting there for the longest time and not doing anything about it. Um, and when you ask the city, what are they planning to eventually do with this old library, they don't want to give you an answer. So anyway, I've written a couple of articles in Nova Scotia Advocate that talks about the need for a 24-7 drop-in that we need here in this city. And Jody and I were talking last night, and Jody here seen those articles um, about how this library behind us would make a great location for the 24-7 drop-in, and I think it would solve problems that various people, not only the panhandlers that you see on Spring Garden Road, but that various people living in poverty throughout this whole city, income assistance recipients and and any and even it would benefit some working poor and you name it like some of them could be Canada pension disability recipients like whatever form of poverty they live in it would even benefit some of them too this idea would and the old library behind us would make a great location for this 24 7 drop-in that I would that that on myself and some other people I know in the community would love to see start it um, the thing is is that for people who you see, for instance, panhandling down here in Spring Garden Road, well, there is the Basilica from Monday to Friday that serves the sandwiches and coffee at the St. Mary Church, but other than that, you gotta walk 30 minutes to get to, and some of these people have leg impairments, mobility issues, but they have to walk 30 minutes to get to places like Souls Harbor or the Hope Cottage, and for some of them because they got like say leg impairments or physical disabilities that might that walk is not really does not really work in their favor but if you look behind us this old library they got a space there that the city is not using for anything I think this would make a great location for people to to like like a great location as having some sort of program for people to serve the poor and maybe like a 24-7 cafeteria have three designated times to offer main meals to least people but you could also like say in the middle of the night or or something like offer other types of services between meals and have and have like coffee and tea available for them like 24-7 and some snacks like outside of meal times but but use the rest of the 24-7 that the place is open to, to offer other types of services to these people. So the, the Kendall, the 24-7 drop-in clinic now, we're talking about a, a, a center with professionals, so mental health, um, you know, maybe uh, some emergency shelter bedding, uh, and, and also the, the food. We're not just talking about uh, providing meals, we're actually talking about a mental health center. Well, when it, talks, when it comes to mental health, there's two sides of the fence to that one. There is the side of the fence of the professionals, yes, and, and yes, access to them is needed 24 hours. You see, the thing is, is, is in one of the articles that I talked about uh, the need for a 24 drop-in center, I talked about how there are people that are checking themselves into the QE2 Emerge in the middle of the night, who's, um, who are going there and, and 
only for the purpose of needing human contact. There's nothing medically wrong with them. And Lee's visits to the QE2 merge that I'm speaking of, they're happening, they're happening in the late nights, the middle of the night, on weekends and holidays is when those visits are happening. And, uh, and ho holidays, I want to stop you for one second, Ken, but holidays, I want to highlight that before we go further. Um, on holidays, um, a lot of the meal services in the city, uh, they don't have them because it's a holiday, so of course the volunteers and, and some of the employees uh, have a holiday, they get to spend it with their families. But when someone's in a crisis, um, it doesn't matter if it's a holiday or not, um, hospitals don't close on um, holidays, airlines don't close on holidays, uh, so I believe um, dealing with those, uh, you know, issues in poverty, that's an essential service and, and I think we need to have a service that's 24-7. Uh, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off here now, Kendall, because we've been almost six minutes and my arm is getting heavy. Um, I think we've given a lot of information. We are going to uh, attach some of Kendall's articles uh, from the Nova Scotia Advocate. Um, down below uh, please subscribe and uh, follow our journey and Kendall and I are going to uh, have a couple more days of discussions and figuring out what we can do all right thanks everybody um, I would like to oh finish. yeah go ahead I would like to finish what I was saying about the go two ahead. sides of defense you oh, see yes. when it comes to professionals the thing is that there's two sides of defense on that one through my few years of getting to know people who suffer from serious mental health issues. And there's a group I go to one night a week right now, I'm taking a break from that group, but it's a, but it's a group uh, that talks about depression and anxiety. It's a support group from people that suffer it, but it's also set up as an education type group too. It is that educates people on that type of thing. You see, the thing is, is there are some people that do need to talk to professionals, if not a lot, that I agree with, but there's other people that are just like, that are suffering from that stuff, but just needs a general person outside a professional to talk to, and the people that's looking for a general person, they often don't feel comfortable talking to professionals because the professional is gonna push them to go on medication for depression and anxiety, and yes, medication will solve some of the problems, but it doesn't solve the whole problem. And the thing is, is that um, the center I'm talking about, I would like to see it, provide like where at the same time and the best way to describe it if not a professional then maybe a peer support worker who who is another person that currently suffers from depression and anxiety but the peer support worker would be more of a friend to the person rather than someone who has a professional relationship with that's the type of people i'd like to see at the 24 7 drop-in center and okay. the thing is is a 24 7 drop-in center it would definitely eliminate people from otherwise going to the QE2 in the middle of the night for that specific reason, only because they need human contact, because they would have the option to go there instead. Okay. And also, it would um, give them free meal seven days a week, as I mentioned earlier, and it yes. would give them a general place for people to talk to. And it can also be a meeting spot, too, within the center where maybe in the evenings they have support groups and stuff to take place in there where people who have suffering from these type of things all have an opportunity to get to know each other. Okay, we're gonna to have to talk about it a little further because my arm is shaking, yeah, my okay. arm is uh, going to drop. Okay, so uh, Kendall and I will be back again uh, talking about different things. Okay, see you later. Yep, see you later.